Hi guys, I'm Mary from Mary's Milk Monsters, and I just got my new sub studio all done. And so to christen it, I'm going to make the most basic batch of soap there is, which has only three ingredients, and it's so simple. We have goat milk, we have pure olive oil, and we have lye or sodium hydroxide, and that's it. So, now an important thing with soap making is we need to have everything ready because it is a very quick process. We need to measure out our ingredients. So let's measure out our lye, loading. Okay, there we go. Zero out our container weight because I have messed up on that before and then I've lost a few batches. Now I'll have the amounts of the ingredients in the description if you guys want to do this yourself and make it your own. Almost there. Measure out all of them. And we also have our olive oil. I like to use olive oil for my soap because it is super hypoallergenic and it helps make it generally soap with an addition to the goat milk. Let's see. And yes, this oil does owe me money. compared to the goat milk, which we need a lot of oil because the oil and the lye and the milk talking to each other is most important. Now, we gotta clean off our workspace. Now that we have all of our ingredients measured out, you can go over there so that we can move our soap molds over here. These ones are made of silicone so that the soap will pop out very quickly on the molds when it needs to. They're also in little rounds so that I can either wrap them in coffee filters like I usually do or in these little travel tins that I have. Okay, so now that we have, I'll turn that off so that the battery doesn't die. So now we have all of our ingredients ready. We have our goat milk, which is frozen. We heated it up a little bit so we can get it out of the container. Now the reason I start out with it frozen is because when the lye and the oil, the, the lye and the milk mix together, it heats up. And uh, when it heats up, if you do it at milk with milk at room temperature, it will burn the milk. So in order to make the soap a creamy white color, I have to make sure that it's frozen. Now, I can't just dump it while it's on a, in a big chunk like this. And I'm not gonna stab it like this because I look like a horror movie and it will break the tip of the knife. So we're delicately going to cut it into quarters so that it stirs easier. And then we're going to also heat up our oil to at least 105 degrees of our microwave. It takes about two minutes. And the reason we want the oil to be heated is because this again heats up and it usually heats around to like 98 or 105. We want everything to be the same temperature so that nothing gets burnt or the chemicals don't talk. We need them to talk so that the soap is made. Alright, now wait on the oil for a little bit. While that's going, I'm going to stir these because it will take a second for all of the uh, milk to melt. Now you can use other uh, milks like camel milk, rattlesnake milk, or whatever milk. I just prefer using goat milk because I have pet goats. And you also want to be careful with the lye because this has been known to splash me sometimes even though I'm very careful so just for at least eye protection. And I'm to stir very quickly. And it will start 
already starting to melt. If you have your hand on the side of the bowl, you will feel that it's more warm. And although it looks, it'll look a little yellow when it's uh, melting, it will not look yellow in the final product. This is just how it looks at this stage. Let's see, we've already melted into the liquid. Got some chunks lying around. Just stir until all of those get melted. Yeah, so that's some chunks lying around.
Terry Bowles, Blender, that's okay. Popping, let me check it. I'm lifting it up and seeing if it needs a pattern, which it does not. It's just a little bit more. usually makes from about 15 to 18 bars. Yeah.